two to go. Okay. Hey, how you doing, guys? This is uh, Streak Seven, and we're here. I'm here tonight. Chris ain't with it. Chris is gonna be doing a video here in a little bit, but I'm here. Turbo Diesel Fifty Four, Fifty Four, Eli, and uh, today we're gonna. I'm gonna be dipping. Oh, it's drop it. Today I'm gonna be dipping Grizzly Snuff. Now I had a friend tell me about this. He said it tastes uh, tastes like Copenhagen Silver Lid. So that's why I picked it up. And I'm gonna try it out for you guys tonight. And I went out and got me a can of Cancer in a can, Longhorn Mint, Long Cut. It's like a dollar forty in Jackson, Ohio. So I'm pretty sure if I get through this can, I probably have cancer. But oh well. And then pass me. Yeah, let's put them in. I'm the only one that actually has to pack it, dude. You got a long cut. I don't like packing it. Makes my titties hard. Make sure I do Chris Proud and get a big Texas slip later in. Alright, I like initially like as soon as I put it in I kinda noticed it has like almost a sweet taste. Did you get that Chris? A little bit. Yeah, it's got like a sweet, almost a sweet flavor to it. Well, this longhorn almost tastes like peppermints, honestly. I mean, you get your tobacco out of it, but it tastes more like peppermints than anything. Now my stepdad dipped, like, he used to dip Copenhagen Silver Lead, the fine cut original, and it got too expensive for him, so now he just dips, uh, he dips, uh, Timberwolf fine cut natural, but I tried to, I, ha I had him try this out today, because I told him it's about the same price as that, but, uh, I don't think I've ever, he said he, he said it had a little bit more flavor, I don't think I really know anybody. It really dips Longhorn Mint. I've never, <laughs> I mean, people dip Longhorn, yeah, but I've never really seen anybody dip it regular. Usually they stick with Copenhagen, which I'm a Copenhagen straight guy. But this Longhorn, I mean, I wouldn't chew it all the time, but it's got a good flavor to it. I mean, if you want a little mint, just like Outlaw Dipper, say shout out to Outlaw Dipper. I mean, you can put this in if you don't brush your teeth. That way, before you go to school or go out to work or something, put it in and make your breath smell good. Yeah. I can already tell that I don't think I really like this that much. It's just... I can't really tell what it is. It's just... It does... It, it, it doesn't taste like Copenhagen Silverwood. It's not snuff, you just drunk, son. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't... I think it's Longhorn Mint. It looks about like any other kind of long cut. But, I mean, you can see the difference. If there is any, not really, but um, it works for you. This is pretty much just like a fine cut. Um, it's not exactly like Copenhagen. Copenhagen's almost like sand. It's like little balls, but this um, this is on this is kind of like a fine cut, more just a little bit longer than the Copenhagen. If you know what I mean. Um, I think I know what you mean, there, old baby. I don't know. Now I've heard that a lot of people like the, today when I got and got this today said the guy said that a lot of people's been buying it. I don't know. I don't think I, I don't think I like it that much. Like it's not bad at all. It's not bad. But I can tell you right now, nobody buys Longhorn because I don't know if there's an expiration date on this, but it don't. It don't have an expiration expiration date. I know people but, that chew Longhorn. Every single shelf is full, so either people don't buy it or they buy it out. I don't know. They might buy it out because it's cheap. I know people who dip one more. My dad's buddy dip some more. 
Mom, I'd like to give a shout out to Chris Dipper. He knows how to dip. He's been dipping for a while. And I'm glad to give him the Texas Lip Bleeder. I'm glad to give him that name. Yeah. He's the only one that does a real Texas Lip Bleeder. Uh, we might we might try to get Chris to do a Chris, the guy I usually do my dips with. Try try to get him to do a double horseshoe, if you know what that is. That's completely all the way around your bottom and all the way around the top. Probably about a full can. I'd be able to get him to do two cans. <laughs> two can dipper. Yeah. I think he should show my jug one how it's done and do six yeah. cans. Do two yeah. logs. Two logs. Like I don't know what he's doing. We're just joking, my jug, my jug one. I mean, you yeah, know subscribe to us, man. Well, give us some pointers. Maybe you send us a free mud jug or something. Come on, Darcy. Yeah, Darcy. And I think we got our dippers retreat going on right now. Yep. And Cajun Tiger 616. We love you, man. You it's need to shame. come back. You it's need to come out of back. It. You really know what's up. You started it all. You know what's up. It's a shame. It's a shame that he had to quit. It's a shame. He needs to come back. Well, all right. Well, we'll do our final thoughts on her uh, dips now. Um, I'll go first. Uh, Grizzly Snuff. Um, I hear a lot of people like it, so I'm just gonna say, if you're a Copenhagen Silver Lid kind of guy, go ahead and go out and get it because it's it's way cheaper. I got it for like a dollar fifty for this can. So if you're looking to save money and you like Copenhagen Silver Lid, go ahead and try it out. See how you like it. And, um, honestly, for some reason, I'm not really liking it right now. I think I'd rather, I like Copenhagen. It don't have, I, I think it, it don't really have a, a salty taste. I think that's what it is. I think it don't really have as much as a salty taste as Copenhagen it does. Oh, sweeter. So, yeah, it, it's a little bit sweeter. That's what I think, too. So, maybe that's why I don't like it, but go ahead and try it. Go ahead and try it. Eli? It's Longhorn Mint. You see it there. I mean, it does have a strong mint flavor to it. If you're a first-time dipper, it'd about be like it'd be about like wintergreen. I mean, you'd feel a little bit of burn. But if you're a long-time dipper, I mean, it's good stuff. But I wouldn't dip it all the time. Cancer in a can. It's copyright. Yeah, the cheaper stuff, I don't know. It's probably more like flavor on it. So. All right. Well, that's all for us. We'll see you. Keep dipping. Roll Tide.